Hi everyone, I'm here with Naomi Rose who's visiting me in Baltimore and we've been having a lot of deep intense discussions about everything from what nail polish color to <laughs> choose and like really really actual intense stuff. So we've been talking a lot about using our words wisely and I mentioned this in a video before and the response was quite overwhelming that you wanted us to make some videos about how to speak and how to speak really good, wonderful words in the world. So the topic of today's video is compliments, the art of a compliment. So can you tell me a bit about what inspired you to come up with this topic? Yeah, sure. So um, I've been hearing a lot about Lashon Hara, which is a Jewish concept about not using your speech to do damage. Mm -hmm. And it's a very popular topic at this time of year, we're coming up on Rosh Hashanah, and a lot of people are trying to think of ways that they can improve themselves for the coming year. And not using your speech destructively is tremendously important, and Andrea had this great video, more than one video about it. Um, but one thing that doesn't get talked about very much is how do you use your speech constructively? Like what kind of things that you can do that can change the world for the better using your words, not just keeping your mouth closed when you're about to say something negative, but opening your mouth to say something positive. So I thought maybe we could do a video or two about that. And the simplest example I think about using speech positively is the one that you think about very quickly, which is saying something nice to somebody, which is also called a compliment. Mm -hmm. uh, and even though it seems like a simple thing, compliments can actually go very well or very badly. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Surprisingly badly. <laughs> So I thought maybe we could have a conversation about that because I've learned a lot in my own personal experiences about how to and how not to pay compliments. Great. So what kind of compliments are there? Like I can say probably you look really great today or something, but like I'm sure there's like more than one type of compliment that someone can give. Can you tell us a bit yeah, about Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, I think that loosely you can sort of group compliments into two categories. Mm -hmm. And one of them I'll call the casual compliment. And these are the offhand ones that we throw out all the time every day, like, I like your skirt, mm -hmm. or wow, this tastes really good, <laughs> or where did you get that? That's great. <laughs> so those are casual compliments, um, and they're very important in their own way. And then I think the other type of compliment is something much bigger and deeper and more profound. And I guess we'll call that the deep emotional compliment. Mm -hmm. And those are the kind of compliments where, let's say, a family member does something really, really supportive and meaningful to you. And you pull them aside and you say, thank you, I really appreciate that. I, I'm always amazed at how you're able to find exactly what I need and give it to me. Mm -hmm. That is a deep emotional compliment. You're mm -hmm. not just saying, that's a nice skirt. Um, you're actually saying something very, very emotionally meaningful to you. And you're trying to say it in a way that um, gives over how important whatever that compliment is about actually is in the context of yourself and the world around you. Interesting. So like when you give that deep compliment, you're almost like seeing someone's soul and in a way like allowing them to see their own self. Wow. Like, yeah. Yeah. So exactly. Yeah. Like, wow. That was deep. <laughs> but like if I say, I mean, I'm gonna, and that's like, not just like, I like you, it's good. Like I could say like Naomi, you know, when you really like give me, I mean, I'm just throwing out an example. When you give me like a real hug or a massage when I'm feeling stressed, I can tell that like, you're seeing that I'm stressed and you're giving me what I need. And like, that's some, that says something deep about you that you really look in, in the room and see what's needed. And you, you do that. That's something that you're artful at. Like when I say that I'm seeing you, I'm seeing right. something that you're very good at. And in a way, at the same time, you're seeing yourself. When, right. when I tell you that. And you might not even know that about yourself. You do right. do that, by the way. <laughs> like, <No>. <laughs> so um, so th that's that's really beautiful. But so you're saying that both these, but you know, even saying something that might be a light compliment is also important. Yeah, 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 I think it is. I think the more you can use your speech for the better is, like any increase in that is an increase in the positive energy in the world. Mm -hmm. um, and casual compliments, are just another little spark of positivity that you can contribute. Um, I think the only rule that applies to both categories is that you can't make stuff up. <laughs> yeah. Any compliment course. you give has to be genuine. Like, you can't say, I'm going to give more compliments, and then say, I like that skirt when you actually hate it. No, no, no. Don't do that. <laughs> so, but casual compliments, even if you don't think about them too much, still contribute to the positive energy. That, yeah, and and if you say create. them, I'm sorry to interrupt you, okay. if, if you say them with like meaning, then it can actually be very mean, because let's say that person wasn't sure about the skirt, 
uh-huh. or let's say that person was like not really feeling so good about how she looked and you know and it was hurting her self-esteem like that can change someone's day and it can be very offhand for you right 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 so sometimes you don't even know what's going to be deeply meaningful and impactful to somebody exactly so do you have anything to say like I don't know about you, but for me, sometimes I'm in a situation where I want to say something nice to someone, and for some reason, maybe I'm feeling shy or introverted or into myself. What's some advice you could give to someone that, you know, might have trouble giving a compliment or, like, you know, getting outside of themselves in that way? Um, I think one thing that's important, and I just realized this recently, is that there are environments that are more appropriate for complimenting than others. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think for casual compliments, those can happen really at any time. You can say it in front of a whole crowd full of people. You can say it when the two of you are alone. Mm-hmm. It doesn't really matter. Nobody is going to read deeply into it. You're just trying to give a little smile yeah. to them. Um, but for something deep and impactful and emotional, those are probably the kinds of compliments that people have trouble paying because they're shy. Mm-hmm. Um, but they're also a little, not difficult to receive, but it's an emotional thing to receive them as much as it is to give them. So I think if you're paying a real deep emotional compliment, it's best to do it in private. Yeah, because someone might tear up or, you know, it's, right, it's something. Right, yeah. it's a real thing that you're doing. It doesn't mean that you have to be right there. You can even call them. But yeah. if they're in front of a bunch of people, you might actually embarrass them because they don't want to be the center of attention at that exactly. moment. Exactly. So, yeah, I think what I would do, and I, I didn't even think about this until now, but, like, you know, we all have a list to-do list of today of the day. And if there's someone that you've been really meaning to give that compliment, write down, like, give this person a call. And, yeah. And really, like, not only make sure that they are in the right space, but make sure that you make time for it and realize how important mm-hmm. it can be. Okay. So... We were talking about something, we actually, I don't know what your answer is about this, but you were saying something about forwarding compliments. What does that mean to forward a compliment? I think to forward a compliment is something that is done very infrequently, um, but it can be very, very meaningful. Mm -hmm. And what we mean by forwarding is, let's say you have a friend who just got a job as a cashier at the local grocery store, Mm -hmm. and your mom goes to the grocery store and happens to have your friend as the cashier. Mm-hmm. She doesn't necessarily even know that this person is your friend, but she comes home from the grocery store and your mom says, wow, the cashier was so efficient today, I got through the line twice as fast as usual. Mm-hmm. So you don't necessarily want to embarrass your mom either by telling everybody what she's saying about everybody else, but you can call up your friend who just got the job and say, hey, I know somebody who was shopping in your line today and she said you were so fast and efficient, wow. that's amazing. And you just made her day. You just gave you me know? chills and I'm not the cashier, <laughs> like that would be so nice, wow. So, you know, do it anonymously if you want to protect the privacy of whoever was talking about the other person. But yeah. definitely, if you hear something positive about somebody else, find an appropriate way to pass it on to them. Because otherwise that energy just kind of gets lost, you know, and right. it, could, it could contribute if it was given. No, you're right. And often, like, you know, when you're in social settings, you'll say something nice about someone and or hear something nice about someone. But, like, and you feel like somehow, like, that... That, then that nice thought has gone where it needs to go. But no, actually, you might actually want to forward that thought. You know, it was mentioned to me that you have a real ability for blah or something right, like right. that. I mean, yes, as you said, you have to be careful not to embarrass the person, mm-hmm. not to embarrass the person giving the compliment, or you can just do it anonymously. Right, right. And mm-hmm. actually, to touch on what you were just saying, if you're in a group of people and you find yourself saying something like, oh, my sister makes the best pie, <laughs> mm-hmm. don't tell the other per- I mean, you can tell the other person that, but call up your sister and make sure that she also knows that you think her pie is the best. That's actually true. You know, we do that a lot. Dad, Dad, if you're watching this, I compliment (laughs) your cooking all the time. And I probably should call you and compliment it more to you. Yeah, wow, you're right. I do that all the time. I'll say nice things about my family or friends to other people and forget to tell the actual person. Wow. It's funny how often that happens. It's just like something in human nature that makes us do it, I guess. Yeah. Um, I wanted to go back to something from before. Mm -hmm. when We were talking about, like, what actually separates deep emotional compliments from the more casual ones. Mm -hmm. Um, Because I think... Maybe after seeing this video, you might get inspired and think you want to pay more deep emotional compliments, Mm -hmm. um, but not really know how to do it. Because sometimes, like, sometimes you have a friend or you have a family member, and clearly they're having trouble with something and you want to brighten them up. So how can you think of an appropriate way to do that? Um... I, I think, would think I, I would just say for, for me, like I like I would get nervous before giving, and like then yeah. the person might even worry that you're gonna say something not positive. Like I would just mess yeah. it up probably. <laughs> so like yeah, I need, I definitely need advice on that. So I think you said it actually already. You said it yourself. Hey, I need to tell you something. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So Andrea, yeah. already you actually touched on it before, and you you mentioned that it sounds like 
when we're paying a deep emotional compliment, what we're doing is we're seeing the other person. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think that's the essence of the whole thing. Yeah. So let's say, I'm going to give an example here because I think it'll be easier to understand what we're talking about. Let's say you go over for dinner to your friend who's invited you and she has three little kids all under the age of five. Mm -hmm. And she has set out a nice table and the kids are wearing cute little dresses. Mm -hmm. And you come in and she says, welcome. And you want to compliment her. Uh, and let's say it's just you and her and the kids. It's a pretty private situation. It's not in front of a whole pile of people. So you feel like this could be a deep compliment situation. Mm -hmm. At that point, if not before that point, you want to take a second and think very hard about what does this person need. You might not exactly know, but if you don't know, you can probably make a very, very educated guess. If she has three kids under five and they're all dressed and there's food on the yet. table and there's not stuff all over the walls, and the kids are not screaming and running around, and the food is on plates. Like, all of that means that she put a ton of effort into this. Mm -hmm. It also probably means that she's overwhelmed. She's also probably worried about what you're thinking about the state of her house. She's probably worried about what if the kids do something really embarrassing and, like, mm -hmm. running around the table yelling. You know, she's got a lot on her mind. So take a second and try and briefly run through that list of stuff, difficulties she might be having and the thoughts that she might be having that mm -hmm. are going to be hard for her. And find something genuine that you can compliment her on that will reassure her in one of those areas. Wow. So the casual version of that would be like, oh, your kids' dresses are so cute. Yeah. And then she feels like, oh, it's, I'm so glad people noticed them. Yeah. So that, that's a short one, but a deep, emotional a deep emotional compliment that you could pay would be something like, you have a really beautiful home. Mm -hmm. And I'm always so, so happy when you invite me over because I can feel the atmosphere of welcome and friendliness and the kids are always so well behaved. Mm -hmm. Thank you for inviting me. That's true. And you're right, like that, okay, that took you all of five seconds to say. So I think like people don't need to necessarily think that the deep, deep emotional compliment has to be like, 10 minutes long. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and I was going to say, like, a 10 minute long, like, oh, can I talk to you, bring you aside, leave your kids, like, no. while I tell you how great you are, probably not in the most appropriate situation, but you're saying, like, something really deep, like, I can feel, I guess if it's someone more observant, you can say, I can feel the Kedusha in your home. If it's someone not, you can say, your home has such a great atmosphere. Every time I walk into it, I just feel embraced and loved. And that takes two seconds, and she's going to feel so great. Right, right. Because mm -hmm. you've touched on an area that for her is either definitely or at least probably very difficult and worrying. Yeah, and a bit vulnerable as well. And right. And you're, you're reassuring her as well. Right. But those issues are going to be different for every single person. Mm -hmm. So uh, you can always take a second and try and really see the person, as Andrea said, and really yeah. think about what are they going through right now that's hard. And is there a compliment that I could pay them that actually relates to one of those things? I mean, again, it has to be genuine. You can't just invent something or make something up that you're not actually feeling. But more often than not, you can think of quite a lot of things that'll really, really lift that person up. Exactly. Wow, that's beautiful. Okay, so something that I struggle with, and I think a lot of people struggle with, especially people that perform, like as a musician, is how do how can someone receive a compliment? Ooh. So someone will say, me like, oh, you played so beautifully. I'm like, oh, I made a mistake. Or, oh, like, you know, I, I, I think I'm really terrible at receiving compliments. So I need some help. Can, can you help me? It's really funny, the example you mentioned, because the same thing happened to me. I was in eighth grade, yeah. and I just played my clarinet in some kind of school band concert. Mm -hmm. And one of my teachers, I got back on the bus, because it was an away concert. We were playing for some other school, and we were returning to ours. So I got back on the bus and my teacher came by and he said, you played so well. And I knew for a fact that I'd made like six really big mistakes. Mm. So I said, oh, you know, it wasn't that great. And he stopped me right there and he chewed me out. And he said, Ooh. never respond to a compliment that way again. The way you should respond to a compliment is to say thank you. Hmm. And you can, you can go on after the thank you if you like. You can say thank you, I'm really glad you liked it. You could say thank you, I'm so glad I was able to play for you. Mm -hmm. If you can't think of any of those things, you can just say thank you. But to do anything beyond that actually is inappropriate. And the reason it's inappropriate mm -hmm. is that you just dismiss this person's interpretation of your actions as wow. invalid. Wow. The person says, oh, this soup is really great. And you say, no, actually, I think it really could have used more salt. Then mm -hmm. you're saying, well, your opinion of my soup is wrong <laughs> right <laughs> it sounds like a silly thing that's but that's nice, yeah. it feels like a slap on the wrist when you compliment somebody and they shove it back at you like i don't want it 
Yeah. And while and the thing is, I think for some people, while it might feel difficult to receive a compliment, especially if you have that insecurity yourself, mm -hmm. you need to accept it. First mm -hmm. of all, because like, I mean, that shows your insecurity. It doesn't like someone's trying to give to you by giving you a compliment. Right. So saying a right. genuine thank you. Right. Yeah. Wow. This can be really hard because sometimes people will compliment you on the most off the wall things. Mm -hmm. Like let's say you're wearing sweatpants and this shirt that you really hate because everything else is in the laundry. Yeah. And then your neighbor's like, wow, that shirt looks amazing on you. <laughs> and you're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. You still have to say thank you. I'm glad you like it. <laughs> yeah. That's true. No, so I guess like, you know, while that person's compliment is seeing you, you also have to recognize that the person giving you a compliment is trying to do something nice for you. Right. And uh, right. by dismissing it, that's actually not very nice. Right. So. They have they have their own viewpoint and they're expressing their viewpoint and you can't say yours is, viewpoint isn't valid because I don't agree with it. <laughs> okay. So I think we have a project for people. Um, so the first one is to really up the compliments. As we said, as I think both of us have experienced this, and I think most of you can say that you've experienced this. When someone gives you a good compliment, especially when you're down, it makes your day. And on many levels, it can save a life. So I think we all have to like up the compliments. Just say something nice, you know, and really, really mean it. But also, even if you're not 100% there, just say it, really, you know, because people really do need to hear. We need to put some good words into the world. Um, two is. Um, in terms of those deep, genuine compliments that we want to say, is to maybe schedule those in. And, they, you know, I'm, I'm going to, this is not me, but I'm going to, like, you know, call up some family members that I probably haven't said nice things to that I say nice things about all the time that um, you'll hold me to this, right? <laughs> um, <laughs> and I, I really need to call them up and tell them because they need to hear it. Um, and third of all, to really, when someone says something nice to you, just, like, shut off that negative voice yeah and you know that says no 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 like you know just you know we think that's modesty and that's not modesty no, it really it's not isn't. it's actually just not nice to do that so really accept the compliment and say a genuine thank you i'm glad you enjoyed it thank you it may, you know if someone says i like that color shirt you can thank you i like it too um or you know if you want to take it off yourself thank you know thank you i'm so so grateful for the designer or something like that you know just you know but really accept that compliment because that person's trying to do something nice to you Okay, anyway, let's do it, ladies, <laughs> or men, if you're watching this, but let's do this. Okay, bye. Thank you, bye. Bye.